what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we got some unfortunate news for several talent in wwe the rumors had been circulating um when wwe merged with endeavor and, and the whole ufc whole merger conglomerate was being created the rumors were that there were going to be some individuals that were going to get released from wwe and uh today some of these individuals have been released and we're going to talk about it um we're going to be reading it from the comicbook.com there's many sources talking about it you guys have hit me up personally on instagram and in the discord saying i need to talk about it so we're gonna get right into this one right here following the company's sale of endeavor and a merger with ufc under tko group holdings wwe has begun cutting talent going into the merger belief around the industry was that uh, the majority of these talent cuts would be from corporate offices, uh, would be from corporate offices as the merger with UFC will lead to a number of duplicate roles A variety of employees exited WWE following the merger may be, uh, um, um, following the merger being made official earlier this month, the beginning of Thursday, September 21st, WWE is now cutting talent from its on-screen roster. This is the first time that WWE is releasing talent in mass capacity since uh, in and around the pandemic era. WWE releases multiple superstars following the UFC merger. WWE has begun talent cuts. Uh, WWE NXT, uh, NXT star Mustafa Ali is no longer uh, with WWE. Ali shared the news on his Twitter. Ali spent seven years in WWE and was scheduled to wrestle Dominic Mysterio for the NXT North American Championship next Saturday, September 30th at NXT No Mercy, which is kind of wild that they let him go even though they have been promoting him having a match against Dominic. Uh, this is from his official Twitter. I am no, I am long, uh, I am longer uh, working with WWE. I think he meant to say I am no longer working with WWE. I look forward to the future. Thank you, a deal. Uh, WWE SmackDown star Emma took to social media to confirm her release. Emma had just uh, returned to WWE in summer of 2022 and had previously complete, uh, competed for the company from 2011 all the way to 2017, which is kind of crazy because I didn't really see her on television that much, even after she returned. So, uh, oops, never mind. I got released. I am no longer with WWE. Apparently, they just announced the Elimination Chamber will be in Perth Saturday, February 24th uh 2024 opus opus stadium western australia so she won't even be there you know at the show it's gonna be in australia and she she uh actually tweeted a dream at wwe and now she's not even gonna be a part of that so the fact that elimination chamber is coming in australia is crazy but she won't be involved in that so that that kind of sucks uh wwe smackdown star riddick moss has also been released from wwe moss has been signed to wwe since 2014 and spent the majority of his time at nxt he had one big main roster storyline alongside barry corbin corbin uh, from 2021 until 2022 uh also Aliyah was uh released as well as of today i'm no longer part of wwe wwe smackdown star rick boogs has been released from wwe like moss boogs spent most of his time in nxt before getting called up to the main roster to tag with shinsuke nakamura boogs had a brief tag team storyline with la knight earlier this year wwe smackdown star leah has been released by wwe uh have been with wwe uh have been with WWE since 2015 and recently found success in the women's tag division, winning WWE t women's tag title with Raquel Rodriguez in the fall, and that didn't go anywhere. Free agent Elias has been released by WWE. Elias has spent nine years in WWE with and recently ran a storyline where he portrayed his character uh, canonically, uh, um, brother Ezekiel, which was that was a whole cringe fest and a half i remember that unfortunately uh him having a twin brother oh boy <laughs> that 
that definitely didn't go nowhere. Shout out to Kevin Owens making that storyline somewhat even more entertaining because he was the only one that had the brain on the roster. Like, that's not real. He doesn't have a toy, brother. What's going on here? <clears throat> From drifting onto the scene to Wrestle uh to WrestleMania with John Cena and the Undertaker to millions around the world uh a world for years walking with Elias, a number one, uh one iTunes album, and to being my own younger brother Zeke while traveling the world. It's been a blast. God is good. Uh seems like he's in uh good spirits. I mean, they weren't really doing nothing with Elias anyway either. WWE SmackDown star Top Dollar has been released by WWE. Top Dollar was one third of Hit Row and largely worked as an enhancement talent since he returned to the company last year. Yep, Top Dollar, aka Flop Dollar, is no longer part of the WWE roster. And Sheldon Benjamin has been released by WWE. Benjamin <clears throat> was part of the historic OVW rookie class that included Brock Lesnar, John Cena, Randy Orton. And Batista uh, Benjamin wrestled from WWE from 2000 until 2010, and he began his second stint in the company in 2017. He found success in the fan favorite faction, the Hurt Business, in 2020, which they just disbanded and really didn't do nothing with them afterwards. Uh, I have been released from my WWE contract. I thank uh, WWE staff, talent, and of course the fans for everything. Something uh, ends, something new begins. Looking forward to my next chapter. And probably one of the most shocking ones. Veteran star Dolph Ziggler has been released by WWE. This ends a near two-decade run with Ziggler in WWE as he uh, has spent his entire professional wrestling career with the company. Ziggler's brother, uh, AEW star Ryan uh, Nimeth fuels speculation that he could be all elite earlier this week. Story is still developing. Well, <clears throat> we kind of saw this coming. I'm really surprised out of everyone. Everyone else, it kind of made sense. They weren't even really using these individuals on television, except Mustafa. If you, they already set up a potential program. They already put him on the flyer and everything for um his match with dominic coming up but they decided to release him so that was kind of wild that was surprising and the Dolph ziggler one was definitely surprising once again they weren't really doing much with him but at the same time i was not expecting them to release him either so i don't know man it's it's one of those things where a lot of these individuals Outside of Mustafa, who literally was about to have a match with Dominic for the NXT North American Championship next week. And then them promoting it. Outside of him, everyone else and Dolph Ziggler, everyone else, it kind of it kind of made sense. You know what I'm saying? Everyone else, it, it kind of makes sense. Once again, Mustafa, that's still weird. Because <laughs> NXT No Mercy is literally next week. Let me, let me double check. As of me filming this, I'm filming this on the 21st. Yes, it's next Saturday. And they released them before then. That's crazy. So, but like I said, most of these names outside of Mustafa and Dolph, it made sense that they were going to release them because they weren't doing nothing with them. They weren't. And it sucks. Um, but they weren't doing nothing with a lot of these individuals on this list. I, I'm not a big, you know, I'm not a fan of anybody losing their job. Like, no, I, I understand how it feels to be let go. You know what I'm saying? What, you know, just whatever the circumstance may be, you know, they just decide to, you know, uh, save on the budget and cut you in the process. I've been on that side of the fence before, so it sucks. But I think some of these individuals were probably new you know it was coming and it seemed like some of them didn't like uh what's the name uh it seemed like um emma she didn't know this was happening she seemed like she was happy that elimination chamber was was coming to australia and then the next thing you know she's not even in the company so she didn't even know that was gonna even happen so some of these individuals probably didn't know and then some of them kind of knew the writing was on the wall and once this merger happened they were probably going to be on a chopping block. So I'm um, wishing nothing but success for all these individuals going forward. And we'll see how things pan out for them. I'm sure this is probably not the only round uh, of 
cuts that WWE will be making to the day-to-day -day, uh, on-screen roster. So we'll see how those things will pan out, man. But comment down below. Let me know. Did any of these names shock you? The only name that really shocked me the most is Mustafa because they had a match for him and Dolph Ziggler. I was not expecting them to let go of Dolph Ziggler after he's been there for so long. So comment down below. Let me know which one of these names really shocked you that was, you know, released today by WWE. But I appreciate all the love and support. Guys, Sean on the channel. Road to 150K. And I'm still the speedy YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all keeping me. See y'all next one. Peace.